Hi friends, welcome back to Raising Readers, our online story time from the Alpha Park Public Library. I'm Miss Sarah and today we are on the next letter in our alphabet series. We are on the letter E. You can make an E by doing this with your hands. This is the alphabet sign for the letter E. It always makes me think of a tiger stretching out my claws. So you take your fingers and you leave them all curled up, but you stretch them out nice and big. And that is the letter E. So we've done A, B, C, D, E. All right. Can you think of any words that start with E? Can you think of any? How about an animal that starts with the letter E? This one can be a little tricky. The one I came up with is elephant. We are going to talk about elephants today with our stories and songs. And this is a nice little elephant that I have here today. I have a couple. We'll try to bring out another fun little elephant as well. But let's get started with our wake up song. And let's wake up our hands and our ears because elephants have very large ears and of course our nose which looks very different than an elephant's an elephant has a very long trunk for a nose ours is not nearly as big but we can wiggle it together right all right let's get wiggling here we go wake up hands wake up hands Wake up, hands, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, hands, wake up, hands. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Did you get your hands all stretched out? All right, how about those ears? Let's find your ears. Wake up, ears, wake up, ears. Wake up, ears, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, time for those trunks. You can make yours bigger if you want. Wake up nose, wake up nose, wake up nose and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up nose, wake up nose, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Yay! Good job, everybody. I hope your body feels woken up and ready for some exciting stories today. Now we have our rocking song, so find something or someone to cuddle up with. Elephant and I are going to rock together today, and we'll sing about friends who read together. Oh, friends who read together, together, together. Oh, friends who read together will stay friends for sure. Let's read a book together, together, together. Let's read a book together and always be friends. Yay! Good job. I'm going to put Elephant down for just a minute. And we are going to read our very first book, which is called When Your Elephant Has the Sniffles. It's no fun to feel sick. We're going to bring our camera in closer so we can see our poor elephant with the sniffles. Do you think it's extra hard to have sniffles in your nose when you're an elephant with a great big trunk? It might be. This is by Susanna Leonard Hill. Sniff, sniff, sniffle. Uh-oh. Does your elephant have the sniffles? When your elephant has the sniffles, you must take good care of him. Elephant sniffles can be quite serious, and you don't want your elephant to start sneezing. Put him to bed, even if he tells you he's just fine. If there's anything in the room that might make him sneeze, hide it. 
What is she getting rid of that might make elephants sneeze? Dust, flowers, and the cat. All those things make some people sneeze. Then prop him up with lots of pillows and cover him with plenty of blankets. Bring him his favorite stuffed animal to snuggle with. Oh, I like those ideas. Those things all make me feel better when I don't feel well. At first, your elephant might not mind being tucked into bed, but he might want another pillow. He might ask for his trucks. Then he might want you to bring him an ice pop. How is the little girl feeling about having to fetch all these things? A little frustrated, I think. But after a while, he will get bored. So you will have to think of fun things to do. Hmm, what fun things can you do when you don't feel well? They have lots of toys. After all those fun things, you can make shadow puppets. Remember, rest is very important and you do not want your elephant to start sneezing. By now, your elephant will be thirsty. Bring him lots of liquids because those are important for fighting the sniffles. And you do not, under any circumstances, want your elephant to start sneezing. We are very worried about elephant sneezes. Why are we so worried about elephant sneezes? After the drinks, your elephant will probably announce that he's had quite enough and he's getting up. Distract him by dressing up and singing a song just be careful what props you use. <laughs> because after all your hard work, his nose might begin to itch and twitch and ah, 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 Oh dear. When your elephant has the sniffles, you just might end up with them too. A chew. Well, at least they can have the sniffles together. <laughs> Maybe they'll cuddle up together in that cozy bed. All right, I have something for us to do now. That means you are going to have to stand up. So stand up on your feet we are going to pretend to be elephants together and do an elephant walk. Here's another one of my elephants. I think this might be a girl elephant because she has really big eyelashes, but I don't know. I see lots of boys with great eyelashes too. <clears throat> so here's our elephant and we are going to do an elephant walk and it goes like this. Right foot, left foot, see me go. I am gray and big and slow. I come walking down the street with my trunk and four big feet. Can you walk like an elephant on all four? You have to use your hands and pretend they are feet. So you have four feet like an elephant. So get down with your feet and your, your hands and your legs on the floor and then Pretend you have your trunk and remember elephants are very big so they don't move very fast because they're very large. So let's do this again. Right foot, left foot, see me go. I am gray and big and slow. I come walking down the street with my trunk and four big feet. Did you walk like an elephant? Can you make an elephant noise? Miss Sarah is very bad at elephant noises. I'm known for it, but I'm gonna do my best. Ready? Elephant noise. I, Miss Sarah, it's not, that's not her best noise, but I hope you can make a really good one. So try your best and I can't wait to hear it. All right, we're gonna do one more song before our next story and it's our ABC song. 
We're going to sing through the ABCs. We're up to the letter E. So I'm gonna hold this up close to the camera. You can see on your sheet, E is the red one. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth letter of the alphabet. Five out of 26. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. All right, let's read our second book. A Parade of Elephants by Kevin Hankus. This is the second book we've read by him in our story times. A Parade of Elephants. Would you go to see a parade of elephants? You could practice your elephant walk. You did that. Look, elephants. Elephants is a long word. One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants marching, marching, marching. A parade of elephants. Big and round and round they are. Big and round and round they go. Round, they must be marching in a circle. Up, down, ooh, this is a hilly parade. Over, under, woo. In, out, ooh, a cave. Fun. I've never been in a parade that went through a cave. They march and they march and they march, march, march. Look at this. They're looping their trunks with their tails and making a chain. They march all day. And when the day is done, they are done. Done too. What does it mean when they are done? They yawn and stretch. They stretch and yawn. Oh, can you do that like an elephant? Oh, can you stretch and yawn? Before they sleep, they lift their trunks and they trumpet, <clears throat> scattering stars across the sky. Oh, that was a fun ending. Did you make an elephant noise that time? Mine's not very good. Good night. Oh, they're done marching, they're tired, they're going to sleep. That sounds like a good way to end the elephant parade. All right, we have one more story that I usually do on a flannel board, but I've got some tape here. I'm actually going to erase our E's so that you can see this story. And this is a story about elephants in a bathtub. And you're going to help me with this story. We're going to add some elephants to the bathtub. And these elephants are gonna go knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. We're gonna say that every time. Let's bring our camera a little closer. Knock, knock, I'm just knocking on my hand. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. One elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Ready? Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. What comes after one? One, 
two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. One, two, three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Can we fit another? One, two, three. This one's gonna go way in the bottom. Four. Four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. What? Let's see if we can squeeze in just one more. One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Woo, they all fell in. My goodness, that must be a really big bathtub. What do you think? All right, let me show you our paper for today. On the back of our story time sheet are some E words you can color. These words all begin with the letter E. E is for envelope, elephant, eggplant, and egg. Those are some new E words. And in your craft packet is your elephant craft. which is the pieces with the paper plates. So, if you take this paper plate, it has two little pieces clipped to it. One are some eyes. You're going to give your elephant some eyes. And what else makes an elephant special? His trunk. So you're going to have an elephant puppet. Now, elephants are usually gray but in our book, A Parade of Elephants, the elephants were lots of colors. So I gave you a white elephant and you get to decide what color it is. So I hope you pick something that makes you happy to color. And that's your elephant craft this week. So let's wrap up our story time with our song, If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, ooh, stomp like an elephant. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! All right, friends, I'll see you next week for our next Letter in the Alphabet series. Take care.